Hi everybody, welcome to Science with Sudhi. Today we're going to see two types of chemical reactions in terms of heat. The first one is endothermic reaction, which the particles in textbooks we used to see that the, the system absorb heat. I would like to say that the particles or the atoms which react, it absorb heat. The second type of reaction is exothermic reaction in which particles releases heat. Let's see these two type of reactions. Exothermic and endothermic reaction are everywhere. They are, they are common reactions. For endothermic reaction, I choose two reactants. One is the universal solvent water. The other one is potassium nitrate. Let's see what happens when potassium nitrate dissolve in water. I use a thermometer to check the temperature of water, room temperature of water. Let's see what's the temperature now for the water molecule. It's clear, it's 20 degree, 20 degree. The temperature of water is 20 degree. I'm going to add potassium nitrate. If the temperature increases or it increases from 20 degree, that means this reaction releases heat. That's why the temperature increases. If the temperature drop down, goes below 20 degree, that shows it's an endothermic reaction. That means the particles, the atoms, they absorb heat. Let's see what's happening. This is potassium nitrate. I'm going to drop that into the test tube and at the same time you must check the temperature. What happens to the temperature immediately. Now potassium nitrate is in the solution now. Let's see what happens to the temperature. Is temperature increasing or decreasing? You can see that the temperature is going down. Now it's 15 degree. Let me just shake the liquid. Now let's check the temperature. It's going down, going down. Now you can see the temperature is 14 degree now. 14 degree. It was 20 degree before. Let's add some more potassium nitrate granules. Let's che check the temperature again. The temperature you can see that it's 15 degree now. 15 degree. I'm going to add some more potassium nitrate granules and then you must check the temperature. Is the temperature going up or down? We can clearly see that the temperature is going down now. It's 14 now. Let me shake it a little bit. Yes, it's going down. It was 20 degree in the beginning of the experiment. Now it is 13. Temperature is going down. Yeah, 13 degree now. So you saw that the initial temperature was 20 degree. Now it is 13 degree. If you keep on adding potassium chloride, the temperature goes down. So it's a simple demonstration of endothermic reaction. Here you could see that the temperature decreased. Temperature decreased, that means the particles, they absorb more heat from the surrounding. 
Let's see an exothermic reaction. So the reaction we're going to watch here is the reaction between water and calcium chloride. Calcium chloride. Let's see what happens. So initially, let's check the temperature of water. So I, ins I immerse the thermometer. As before, the temperature of the water is 20 degree Celsius. You can see it here. The temperature of the water is 20 degree. Now it's 90 degree. It depends on the atmospheric pressure. Before it was 20 degree, now it's 90 degree. That's the temperature. Now I am going to add some calcium chloride granules. This is calcium chloride. I'm taking one spoon of calcium chloride. Let me add this into the solution and we must check the temperature. Whether the temperature is increasing or not. Let me add some calcium chloride and keep your eye on the temperature. It was 20 degree before. Now let's see what happens to the temperature. Let's see what happens to the temperature here. It was 20 degree before. You could see that the temperature is going up. Yeah, now it's 30 degree. 31, 32, the temperature is shooting up. So it shows that the reaction releases heat. So this is an example of an exothermic reaction in which particles or atom which releases heat. These two are very good examples. All these chemicals are available in any laboratory in our school. So the teachers and children, they can enjoy this experiment.